subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends. So in this video, we discuss how to add your Active Directory in your vCenter server so you can enable your Active Directory users to authenticate with your vCenter server and they can like manage your resource. So first of all, I am going to log in with my single sign-on administrator user that we create on our vCenter server. And here, you need to go on your administrator. So click on this menu button. Select this administration. Scroll down and choose the configuration under the single sign-on. And here we select identity source. So by default there are two identity source. One is your single sign-on domain and one is your local OS. So here we are going to add a, uh, another identity source. Add. And uh, I am not going to join my vCenter server in, in Active Directory. So I am going to select Active Directory over the LDAP protocol. And here you need to provide your Active Directory information like uh, what name you want to assign for this identity source. So I am just going to anti virtual lab. And here you need to define your uh, DN path. So my domain name is like that. Anti sorry so this is my domain name so my dn would be like that dc equals to anti virtual lab and dc equals to com okay my uh, my wish and uh, single sign on domain is uh, anti virtual lab dot local and my active directory environment uh, domain name is antivirtuallab.com so here i put this dn path copy this path and i'm going to use same for users and groups and here your domain name if you have any allies name for your domain you can write here and here you need to provide your domain administrative account to authenticate vcenter server so I'm going to use my administrative account on my Active Directory and the password. If you have uh, multiple domain controllers in your environment, so you can choose a specific domain controller. Otherwise, it will like contact with any domain, uh, any available domain controller. If you have like, if you are using the single sign, uh, sorry, if you are using the SSL with your Active Directory, so you can write your SSL certificate here. So I'm not using any SSL certificate for Active Directory. So I'm going to just provide these, these informations like identity source name, DN for users, DN for groups. If you have any specific organization unit for uh, VMware users or VMware groups, so you can write your DN path for those a specific organization unit, their domain name, a user that allow to authenticate with Active Directory and password. And I'm going to add this. So a new identity source is there. Now I'm going to provide the permissions on our vCenter server. So here you can provide the permission on any instance. So I'm going to provide on all instance. So I'm going to right click on this vCenter server, right click, add permissions. And here you need to choose your domain. So I'm going to choose my Active Directory domain, antivirtuallab.com here you need to select a user so i'm going to provide the permissions on administrator user administrator you can assign your role like admin role or any any other roles so you can select your role from here so i'm going to provide uh, admin role and if you want to apply those permissions on like child objects so you need to click here otherwise this user will get the privilege on this vcenter server not on all these object so i'm going to provide these permissions on all other sites that are under your vcenter server okay so if you check here you can find select go to permission and you can find your permission here okay now i'm going to log in 
with the domain administrator user that are the, uh, the object in your active directory domain so i'm going to log out here and type your administrative user for your active directory domain so administrator at antivirtuallab.com and the password and log in so here it's logged in and you can perform any operations let's suppose i want to start this machine okay so this machine was started so like that you can integrate your active directory with uh, with your wish enter servers and you, you can provide the permissions on your active directory users so thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe this channel for new updates